I'm Michelle from The Entertainers with another real-time session interview and I'm the host for today. In this session I have five questions for keynote speaker and educator John George. Nice to talk to you again John and welcome to The Entertainers interviews. Thanks Michelle, it's lovely to be here. John, can you please give us your background and your journey as a speaker so far? Absolutely, um, I started off in, as a high school teacher and I was motivating kids and I started hearing from kids, you should be a speaker, you should be a speaker and that's what led me to go down that path and I started presenting motivation and study skills seminars in schools and in my own business in flow education and then I had parents, uh, particularly people in the business world coming up to me and saying, would you come and speak to, you know, in the corporate field with our business and that's really what got me thinking about my message is actually resonating not just with teenagers because I've been motivating Generation Y and Generation Z, which are hard to motivate and getting them to, to perform at higher levels. So people were going, well, if you can do it with this generation, can you come in and um, help us with our business? So that's how it sort of came about. John, you've, you've got a keynote topic, um, which is for corporate audiences, and it's yep. about productivity and performance and the science of flow. Can you explain that for us, please? At first, I started looking at successful people who seem to flow and make things happen effortlessly and businesses and I thought well success leaves clues and I was studying those people and studying those businesses but it, it was the biggest example that I was overlooking which was nature itself. The universe flows, it creates productivity all the time, seeming, seemingly effortless and I observed and I noticed that those same three pillars were there that the universe created from a place of silence, peace, it's going to space there is no sound and from there it's got a really strong purpose, let's create a universe a planet, you know, for living things to really have a playground and have fun and that's why for 13 and a half billion years it's been performing and evolving for such, because it's really got, it starts from peace, purpose and, and then, then the performance comes. So in my experience that, you know, you can work on motivation and you can work on performance but it's really like trying to produce fruit uh, on a mango tree and you're really worried about the branches and have I got it in the right place, the right environment but the root of the tree is not in the ground. You know, the first strong wind comes and knocks over. So what I teach businesses is a simple science on how to be at peace, which then allows purpose to become really clear, which is not necessarily about this big purpose about changing the planet, but just finding out what really drives the individual and seeing how performing at such a high level within the business will actually help them achieve more of what they love uh, so they really have a strong drive to perform at high levels. Going back to the corporate audience, um, why would they engage you for this keynote and why is it important to them? Well, firstly, um, people relate to me. Um, I, I make it very simple. So the action steps, so for inner Peace, there's really five, five keys to inner Peace and I give them very simple action steps as a group that they can apply and master one at a time and then two weeks later they're doing one and two. So I teach them how to ingrain it and make it faster in terms of mastery and they also get a copy of my book, uh, The Five Keys to Inner Peace. So um, any uh, corporate um, audience and business that gets me on to speak will also get copies of my book to help implement those very simple action steps. And I relate to them. I, I, I use humour. Um, I don't take myself or life too seriously. I, I really believe we're here to have some fun as well. So in my talks, while I am teaching them simple science and how to be at peace and have purpose, I do use humour. I use my own experiences uh, and, and I really like to have some fun with it and get them involved in, in the process. Uh, great. And I guess as well what they take away from the keynote is that they can utilise that in their own personal life as well. Absolutely. I mean, for me, that's that's the added bonus is that because a lot of uh, workers, they're really great at what they do. However, if a bit of drama happens in their personal life, they bring that into the corporate world and their performance drops off and they're not consistent. So what I'll be teaching them will help them in all areas of their life. They'll, have, they'll be more calm, centered. So if they're parents, they'll be able to manage their teenagers or their kids much better, which means they come to work with greater energy, greater focus not having drama and going up and down like a roller coaster. So, and they're going to, look, they're just going to feel and they're going to create a space around them that's calm. So, you know, getting along better with their workmates is going to definitely happen. Uh, people are going to notice changes in them and they're just going to create such a really strong culture by being the example rather than telling people what to do and so on. So, yeah, look, it's going to flow into all areas of life and um, I think... It, 
definitely that workers are not only going to be happier at work, um, they're just going to stay longer because, you know, they've really got to a place where they're happy, they're content, they have purpose for what they're doing. And, um, yeah, it's going to flow on to the, the other employers within the business. Yeah, so it sounds like almost every corporate organisation could use this type of keynote, really, um, to create a better work workplace. Yeah. John, what, from the years of experiences uh, working with corporates, can you finish with your number one tip for success? Yeah, my number one tip for success is to follow nature. Um, nature starts from peace. <clears throat> um, you know, you can have all the motivation in the world, but you really got to get to that place where you're calm because when you're calm and at peace, your greatest ideas, your greatest thinking, your greatest performances come from that place. So it's really about getting back to the foundation of high performance, the foundation of growth, the foundation of the way the universe creates, which is peace first. When you get that right, you'll find not just as an organization, but individuals will find a stronger purpose to want to perform at really high levels. And out of that comes some amazing ideas. Like you, businesses that get me to come on board, they have, they, they, you know, and I keep in contact with them. The changes are, are incredible in terms of individually. They're much more settled. They've got a, a science. They know, they basically scan the five keys and they know which one's off balance and they know how to balance it. So they're really, it's really about bouncing back really quick. It's not about never falling over. It's about bouncing back really quick. And I'm hearing, you know, that they're coming up with ideas that, just coming, they don't know where they're coming from. So they're really getting into a good space where creativity is flowing, great ideas, problem solving. It's just happening so much more, you know, easily because their noise, the noise in their mind has stopped. So they really are bringing presence, and that's the greatest uh, takeaway and, and the, the greatest gift that I can give to corporate is I'm going to teach a science on how to be present, and that's where your greatest productivity and profitability is going to come from. Thanks for joining us today at the Real Time Sessions. I have been interviewing John George, keynote speaker and educator, and I'm Michelle Bergen from The Entertainers, and we look forward to assisting you soon. Bye for now.